Hello and welcome to a new video. Now there's a second version of Deep Sight called Deep Sight V2, a newer and stronger version than the original. The interface of Deep Sight V2 is available on the Hugging Face website. On the left, you'll see the HTML code, and on the right, there's a live preview of a page showing the phrase, I'm ready to work, ask me anything, along with Deep Sight's new whale logo. For those who don't know Deep Sight, it's a space on Hugging Face. If you click the Spaces link on the site, you'll find a gallery of AI applications. There are so many spaces inside, all organized by function, like image generation, video generation, translation, text generation, and more. So if you need something, you can just go in and explore. On the Hugging Face homepage, apart from the models and data sets, you'll also find the trending spaces, and you'll see that Deep Sight is one of them. To use it, just click on it. Now, Deep Sight version 1 was based on the latest Deep Seek V3, but what's new in this version? The Deep Sight V2 interface shows a pop up that compares Deep Seek V3 with other models. When you click on Settings, you'll see they've added support for the latest version R1, which is even more powerful than V3, especially in programming. This version was released on May 28th, and we'll be testing it together. So, how does it work? It uses DeepSeek versions to generate front-end code for apps, websites, and landing pages in HTML, and it does it professionally. There are lots of useful features, like the Canvas tool, which displays the code output live right in front of you. You can also edit the code directly, just like you would in Visual Studio Code. For example, if you want to change the sentence, ask me anything, you can simply delete anything from the code, and you'll immediately see the update in the live preview. I'll start from here by clicking New Project. Of course, you need to log in and create a Hugging Face account. The free plan gives you enough space to build apps for free. Whatever app idea you have, whether for mobile or desktop, you can ask DeepSight to build it, and it will do it professionally. And you don't need a perfect prompt. Even if you don't have any idea at all, you can check the DeepSight gallery. This gallery is inside Hugging Face's DeepSight V2 and shows different apps and websites made by people using DeepSight. This gives you ideas that you can build too. I already have an app idea in my mind and I want to make it. The idea is to create a simple and quick app that calculates the expected delivery date for pregnant women. I thought of making an app where the user enters the first day of her last period and it instantly shows the estimated delivery date as well as the current pregnancy age in weeks and days. So. This prompt asks you to create a web app that calculates the estimated delivery date and pregnancy age using Nagel's rule. It should also display the trimester in a visual timeline. Since I always work with R1 because it gives more accuracy and professional results, I'll choose it here. So I open settings and make sure that DeepSeek R1 May 28th is selected. There's also something called providers. These offer DeepSeek for free. I'll let the system pick the best provider automatically. And if I want to share the app with someone working with me, I can click the share button. And of course, there's also a button to start a new project from scratch. Now that I've selected the settings, I press enter and I see AI is thinking. It starts building the app step-by-step -step using R1, which you can't do with V3. The code is written and runs right in front of me, thanks to the Canvas feature. And we'll also continue editing it later. HTML, CSS, and JavaScript code start flowing into the left panel while the app interface appears on the right. It's titled Pregnancy Calculator with a field for the LMP and a calculate button. A really important feature here is that when you edit something, it only updates that part, not the whole code. This saves time and R1 really gives professional results with an elegant look. Since the result wasn't up to the desired standard, I decided to rely on the app I had previously created. Now I choose the first day of the last period, LMP. Let's say March 22nd, 2025. I can also enter the cycle length and I'll choose 28 days as the default. After entering the data, I click calculate due date. The app now shows me the expected delivery date and also calculates the current pregnancy age in weeks and days. For example, expected delivery date, December 27th, 2025. Current pregnancy age, 16 weeks and five days. 
It also tells me which trimester in first, second, or third. The app is working well and ready to use, but will improve the interface and the result display a bit more. I'll go back to the chat to tweak the code. You have two ways to make edits. As long as the project is open, anything you type here will be seen as a direct edit to the same project. But the second way is easier and clearer. Click the edit button, then select the part of the app you want to modify. For example, I want to update the footer and add, this app is created by Mamria AI. So I click on the footer section, then I press enter and the AI updates the code instantly. In the live preview, I now see created by Mamria AI. After finishing the project, as we agreed, we want to save it in our own space and use it as an app. So what do we do? Simply click save your project. It will ask for a name, I called it Pregnancy Calculator app. Then I press deploy space to save it in my Hugging Face accounts space. It shows me that the project was successfully published. Then I go to my Hugging Face account, open the spaces section, and find the new project named Pregnancy Calculator app. I click on it and the app opens instantly in a new tab. If I want to download the project and get the full code, I click the three dots at the top and choose clone repository. A command appears, I copy and paste it into the terminal to download the entire project to my computer. I copy the git command, paste it into the terminal to download the files, then press enter. Then on your computer, go to the users folder and you'll find a new folder named after the project. In my case, it's pregnancy calculator app. I open it and find all the project files, including the main HTML file. You can turn this code into an Android app using a tool called WebIntu app. It's super easy and free. The important first step, go to the app folder and compress the HTML file. Right click on the file, choose compress to and save it as a zip file. Then go to WebIn app. There, you have two options. You can either enter a URL or upload a zip file. I'll upload the file. Go to the Pregnancy Calculator app folder, choose the Compress file, now type the app name, I'll call it Pregnancy Calculator app. I choose the free option to create the Android app, and then click Make App. After the app is built, it opens a page showing the finished app, Pregnancy Calculator app. If I want to share it with someone via a link, I click on the settings icon, then go to app homepage. I enable the share option, choose the app category as medical, and write a short description to explain the app's idea. It starts showing you a link. That's the link you can share with anyone. So I'll just copy the link, click save, and try the app on my phone to show you how it looks. As you can see, I already downloaded it on my phone and now I'm starting the installation. I just give it access, then tap install. Now it's installing. Here's how it looks after installing. I'll open it now. It's loading. Looks just like the version we built together. Trying it out. And here's the result showing up. As you can see, it's working perfectly. So that's it for today's video. We explored the new version of DeepSight, saw the new features, built an app together, and even turned it into an Android app so we can use it on phones and share it with others. Let me know in the comments what you think about this new version. If you liked the video, don't forget to press like, subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell, and share the video with anyone who might benefit from it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.